In, Ed in other news, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency in Edo State has arrested 30 suspects for drug trafficking and other related offenses. The Assistant Commandant Operation Ondotimi Bebetu, while parading the suspects, says they were raided from different locations in the state. Paul is in Wahasmo. This report. 15 males and 15 females with their ages ranging between 20 to 25 years. They were alleged to be involved in the drug trafficking and other offenses. And the LEA explains the operatives also arrested an intracity vehicle loaded with tramadol tablets estimated to worth hundreds of thousands of naira. The drugs were discovered during a stop and search operation by officers of the command. According to them, the operation became necessary following Governor Obasiki's marching orders to the command to mop up illicit drugs across the state. The government is disturbed that these cultists are using what God knows to give themselves the courage, the boost to kill themselves, to cause mayhem, to destroy the peace of the society. And so at the end of the day, it was discovered that suspiciously they are under the influence of hard drugs. And so the government now decided that the state security outfits, the sister agencies, should join us together and mop the society of this drug use. From the, from the number of sources we have, these arrests or these raids were carried out in the Ihama Road Axis and the Country Room Road Axis of uh, the metropolis of Edo State. Some of the suspects share their own side of the story. I'm a driver. I loaded from Monicha. So, in, among the webbies given to me to discharge in Kogi State, Kaba, on our way going, we came in contact with the NDLA offic officials. Then they stopped us for search. While searching the vehicle, they met some tramadols in my vehicle. I did not do anything, but I found it beside my shop. <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> Loud. The agency says raids and arrests of this nature will continue as it carries out its mandate to stamp out trafficking and illicit use of drugs in the state. Paul Ezenwa, TVC News, Benin. Let's now turn our attention to Benue State, where Governor Hass and Alias confirmed two new births in one of the internally displaced persons camps, as well as 15 OOO IDPs in another unofficial camp in the state. The governor revealed this during the flag off and distribution of relief materials to displaced victims of herdsmen attacks in Makodi. Mayowa Okwato reports. The distribution of relief materials to displaced victims of herdsmen attacks is flagged off by Governor Halia. As these materials this is to serve as a short-term measure to cushion the effects of the attacks. Worried by the incessant killings and the displacement of citizens by suspected gunmen, Governor Isant Alia says his administration will not allow the invaders, whom he describes as ingrates, to continue to destroy the image of the state. Governor Alia is also concerned about his findings during his visit to the IDP camps for an on-the-spot assessment of their flights. He discovered about 15,000 IDPs in one of the camps tagged unofficial camp, lacking basic amenities, including water, shelter, and food, among other things. It remains my priority to get them back home to their ancestral farmlands, and we can never settle for less on this. Therefore, inviting all the good people of the state to do all you can in your own quarter as well to support us as a government. The Executive Secretary of SEMA laments the deplorable condition of the agency on the assumption of office as he also announces the launch of a website for the agency to enhance information dissemination. Meanwhile, in politics, the coalition of Zone C youths are concerned about campaigns targeted at political appointees from the region. The recent alleged blackmail of the Deputy Speaker of the Benue State House of Assembly by persons they term as unscrupulous is an example of this. In the person of Right Honorable Lamin Danladi Lawrence is conspicuously in the news for blackmail, and this is seen being sponsored by elements 
some from our zone and some from outside the zone. The group notes that the office of the deputy speaker is for the entire state and not the group notes that the office of the deputy speaker is for the entire state and not a political party or local council. Mayowa Okwato, TVC News.